Hey guys, it's the year and most of you might be knowing that graphic card and RAM prices are touching the skies. Is it really possible to build a gaming PC at rupees 30000? Let's find out in this video. This build is going to be based on the new Raven Ridge APUs from AMD. These are the same Ryzen processors but with graphical processing power inside of them. The processor that I'm choosing is the Ryzen 32200G. It is a 4 core 4 thread processor clocked at 3.5 GHz with a boost clock of 3.7 GHz. It comes with the Wraith Stealth cooler which is one of the best coolers that AMD ever made. This processor has got Radeon Vega 8 graphics. As the name says, it has got 8 graphical cores and these are clocked at 1100 MHz. The best part about these APUs is that these all are compatible with the AM4 socket. So if you have any AM4 motherboard uh, already then you you need not buy a new one. The processor will cost around 8800 to 9600. 8800 is from this website and 9600 is from Amazon. You can of course go to a retailer and you might get a better deal as well. talking about the motherboard i'm going to go with the msi a320m pro vd plus this comes with an am4 socket two ddr4 ram slots one pcie slot four usb 3.0 ports and this is a micro atx motherboard also this is one of the cheapest 64 bit a320 motherboards and it will just cost around 4500 rupees i have used one of these in my previous builds so i'm going to go with this one RAM prices have touched the skies and there's nothing much we can do about it other than choosing the perfect one. For this build I am going with an 8 GB DDR4 stick from HyperX. I have used it and I love it. The RAM costs around 7600 rupees. It is pricey but I like it. The Ryzen platform takes good advantage of dual channel memory. Try considering other potential configurations like 2 into 4 gig sticks or 2 into 8 gig sticks, but I'll stick to one 8 gigabyte stick so that I can like uh, add any other uh, DDR4 stick later in the future whenever it is possible. This RAM stick is clocked at around 2400 megahertz, so it's great. For mass storage, I'm going with a 120 gigabyte SSD from Kingston and one terabyte HDD from WD. SSD will give me fast boot times and will only have windows and some other programs that have a higher priority and the hard disk will have the other things like games photos etc all that stuff SSD costs around rupees 3665 and the HDD comes at a price of rupees 3224 you can of course skip the SSD but I'll go for it All this will be powered by the Circle Gaming 450 watt PSU which is 80 plus bronze certified. I'm going with a good company PSU because I'm facing problems with a cheap PSU in my personal build. This costs around 3000 or to be specific 2995 rupees. To keep all of these components together, I'm going to go with a cheap 1000 rupees case from any of those retailers. So the total cost of this build is about 31921 Indian rupees. Just a little above 30000 but I think that's fine. Most of you would go to a retailer to buy all these components and 100% you will get some discount. But even if you want to save a little bit more then drop the SSD. But I would recommend you not to do so. Let's talk about the performance. This build will of course not give you ultra setting at the best resolution possible, but can give you 60 frames at 720p to 1080p at a graphical preset from high to low respectively. Also, it would depend on which game you play. For example, CS:GO, Rocket League and some of the games like that won't really be a problem. I don't think GTA 5 or Battlefield or World War 2, Call of Duty World War 2 will give you 60 frames uh, at optimal settings, but I I think they would give you around 30, which I feel is enough for a decent gaming experience, but not really great. Of course, as the graphic card prices are really high, this one would just do the justice. 
You can of course save some money for a few months and buy a GTX 1050 or 1050 Ti. Hopefully the prices will be down by that time. So yes, that wraps up with this video. Thank you for watching. I'll be uploading another build video with the Ryzen 5 2400G on the channel. So stay tuned and I will see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.